Mixed addition and subtraction. Math word problems made easy with Lucas. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Math Word Problems Made Easy with Lucas. You've learned how to solve addition word problems and subtraction word problems. But today, we're doing both. Sometimes you need to add, sometimes you need to subtract. And I'll help you figure out which one. Addition or subtraction. When you read a word problem, ask yourself, are we putting things together? Then it's addition. Or are we taking away or finding what's left? Then it's subtraction. Let's look at some examples together. Example 1. The Fruit Basket Liam has five apples. His mom gives him three more apples. How many apples does Liam have in all? Hmm, we're adding more apples, so that's addition. Let's solve it. Five plus three equals eight. Liam has eight apples in all. Great job! Example two, the ball collection. Now, let's try subtraction. Ethan has 12 balls. He gives four to his friend. How many balls does he have left? That's taking away, so it's subtraction. 12 minus 4 equals 8. Ethan has 8 balls left. Easy. How do I know which one? Here's a trick. When you see words like all together, in total, combined, that means add. When you see words like left, gave away, difference, that means subtract. Let's practice spotting those clue words next. Clue word practice. I'll read some sentences. You tell me if we should add or subtract. Mia has seven pencils. She buys five more. That's add more pencils. Ben has 10 stickers. He gives three to his friend. That's subtract. He gave some away. There are six birds on a tree. Four more join them. That's add. Twelve kids are playing soccer. Five go home. That's subtract. Good listening. Example 3. Cookies and friends. Let's solve the mixed problem together. Olivia baked 10 cookies. She gave three to her friend, then baked four more. How many cookies does she have now? First, she gave three away. Subtraction. 10 minus three equals seven. Then she baked four more. Addition. Seven plus four equals 11 cookies. Olivia has 11 cookies now. Two-step problems. Some problems have two steps, like this one. You might need to subtract first, then add, or add first, then subtract. Let's try another two-step challenge. Example four, toy cars. Ryan had eight toy cars. He got six more for his birthday, but then he lost five under the couch. How many toy cars does Ryan have now? It's 
step one. He got more cars, so addition. 8 plus 6 equals 14. Step 2. He lost 5 cars, so subtraction. 14 minus 5 equals 9. Ryan has 9 toy cars now. Practice time. Now it's your turn. I'll read the problem. You decide, add, or subtract. There were seven ducks in the pond. Two more flew in. That's add. Seven plus two equals nine. Fifteen students were in class. Four went to the library. That's subtract. Fifteen minus four equals eleven. Ella had nine marbles. She found three more, but then lost two. That's add and subtract. Nine plus three minus two equals ten. Nice work! Always read carefully to see if the number should get bigger or smaller. That helps you know if it's addition or subtraction. And remember, math is like solving a puzzle. Review. Let's review what we learned today. Addition means putting things together. Subtraction means taking away. Clue words help us choose the right operation. Some problems have two steps. You did a fantastic job today, friends. Now you can solve mixed addition and subtraction word problems all by yourself. Next time, we'll learn about multi-step math puzzles, a super fun challenge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep learning with me, Lutus.